Over the last few videos, you guys have probably noticed this little feature down at the bottom of the screen, which is something that I usually don't have in my cities. But, but I did say at the start of this series, I did want to start focusing on not just the designing aspect, but also I do want to make money because in my last ser series, oh, you guys really called me out on that one. You're like, why should we listen to you and your tips when you're making, when you're losing all of this money? So, all right, let's start making some money then. Making money isn't really that much of a um, important aspect to me. I'm more focused on the design. So one day I just decided to turn off the unlimited money just to see out of curios curiosity if we were making much money. And it turns out, yeah, we we'll were. We we're making a bit of money. We we're making probably about 200,000 just on its own. But then I was like, you know what? I want to make a little bit more money. And I'm just going to be honest, mods have been involved in this process, but also I've just used some of the basic vanilla aspects of the game to make that extra money as well. So I'm going to go through all of that. You guys have been asking me recently, how have you been making this money? Like, like where has it come, come from? Where did you suddenly get 400,000, no, 400 million dollars? Now, in terms of actually getting 400 million, I didn't use any like money generator it's just from the profit um, but i have used some mods to tweak a few things to make profit faster if that makes sense And just quickly, sorry for any of the PS4 or Nintendo Switch users who don't have access to mods. It's unfortunate, mods are pretty good, but anyway, life goes on. So let's go through, what have I done? How have I done it? What do you do? First thing that I've done is I've really made a lot of money through all of the industry building. So all of those that come from the, indus the industry DLC. So if we go into here, you, of course, you guys are familiar with all of these. You have um, you have the forestry, you have your farming, you have your ore, oil, and then you also have the fishing, which I really like the fishing. So I've gone through and actually actually placed down a lot of uh, each facility. So for example, this is our farming area, and I'll go through the budget in a second, but I'm just showing you guys. So farming area, we've got plenty of different fields. Uh, and each one makes quite a lot of money. You can see there's a lot of trucks as well So just by placing all of these down naturally is going to make you a lot of money, but you have to make sure that you have um, All of the other necessary buildings as well. So we have the the sheep areas the sheep pastures Pastures we have the pig farms, but then you also need the slaughterhouse if you have cows you're going to need the Milking parlor and then you have all of the other different types of crops as well. So for that one you can have the flour mill whatever um, What's this one here the cattle shed and then you have the storage So it's also really important to have the storage to put it you have um, the main building You have the area for the the workers as well and um, all the little barns as well so if you are going to put down all of these, make sure that you do have all of these other buildings because it's all going to come together and it's going to start producing you different things. So different, so you've got flour, you've got animal products, and then you also just, and we're also just exporting the crops straight out. If you don't have all the buildings, that's something to work towards. So that's the farming one. The oil one is over here. I have two different oil spots, so utilize that as much as you can. So again, put down all of the, as many facilities as you can. Um, you know, the worker areas, storage is really important. But then also, um, like the, where is it? For example, the cracker plant, whatever that is. Um, maintenance building whatever this one is storage um, more storage so just have all the buildings because it, it all comes together if we look at this here so we're producing petroleum raw just normal oil and also plastics for a profit of 13,000 which isn't much and just so you guys know it does fluctuate the profit goes up and down all the time um, it might go down as low as like just below about 190,000 and it might go up to just above 400,000 so it fluctuates it fluctuates all the time so that's the oil area I also have the other oil part over here as well but they're not producing as much 13,000 um, but still 13,000 is pretty good 
And if we come over here, this is a newer addition as well. So I have our new ore area, uh, which is these buildings here, some of these here, and I think this one and this one as well. Um, so again, having all the different facilities, facilities and you can really put down as much as you can as long as they're making profit that's all that matters so there's really no limit on these and that's what makes them so profitable you can just keep adding more and more so we have our maintenance area and the accommodation we have the grinding mill fiberglass plant then you have some storage areas um, and then you come over here and you have the actual mining area which i think is really cool um, i've tried to dig it out to make it look like it's actually mining um, not enough industry in this area that's right we'll come back to that topic in a second but yeah you can put down as much as you can make sure you have all of the different buildings so then they're exporting and producing a whole bunch of different things so if we click on here profit is ten thousand dollars so we're producing metals normal just raw ore and also glass as well which is pretty good and then another one is the farming area. I have a really small farming area, but again, putting down the different facilities and then all of the other buildings. So the sawmill, you have, um, that's the maintenance building, wood plant, sawmill, storage, um, another sawmill, log yard. So yeah. So yeah, you can have lots of different facilities and I find they make a lot of money. Same with the fishing and that's the last one as well. So fishing in my city, they might not be up and running right now. They might have enough, but um, fishing in my city is also very, very popular. They're always out and about. Um, there's not many out right now, but they do make quite a lot of money as well. So again, you can put down the fishing. Um, where is it? You can go like that and you can see everything, which is pretty cool. So again, you, if you have a lot of water, you might as well go fishing and then you have to just put down the um, these two here. So you've got the fishing market and then also the fish factory. So making lots of money through all of those different things, they are pretty limitless, which is what I really like about those. Now, what really makes it profitable is when you start putting down the warehouses. It's the warehouses for me that is making the most money in this whole thing. Actually, what is the money called in this game? Hang on a second. What is City Skylines money called? Ah, okay. It's called sell. I didn't, I actually didn't know that surprisingly. So I don't, I don't know if I like that name, sell. So anyway, anyway. We're making currently over 300,000 sell, sells, sell, sell money. I'm just going to call it sell money. I think that sounds better. Anyway, so the warehouses is what is making me the money. This is what I recommend. Put down your warehouses. And when you click on the warehouses, I leave it as balanced. You have the different options. Balanced is fine. And you have all the different things here. So put down a warehouse for each different area. Over here, for example, we have paper because we're producing paper nearby. Um, this one, timber, because we're producing timber right there. What's this one? Paper again and more timber. So that they're going to be bringing a lot of, um, there's going to be a lot of trucks coming from here, going to right here, and it's good to have it close by. So then it's quicker for them to get from point A to B, and that makes you more money okay um, I have a lot of unique factory products because I do have a lot of um, where is it the all of these I pretty much have most of these in my game as well so again these are going to make you so much money but you first of all have to have all of your industries down first so for example you are going to need your glass you are going to need metals and different types of wood and things and where can they get those they can get them from your warehouses and so once you have that all set up it is a pretty good chain of making profits so you can see here this is one of my main areas of warehouses so all of those ones um kind of facilitate for the farm area um same for the oil there's some oil ones in there and around some of these are also warehouses even though they don't look like it and like so so for example like you have to have a whole different amount but if you look here you can see this one's actually producing fifty three thousand dollars 
sorry, sell money worth, sells of profit. And to do that, you, you need crops, paper, petroleum, and plastic. So that's why you need all your different types of industry. And then they're making sneakers. So then the sneakers can go back to another warehouse and then it can go from there and be shipped or sold or whatever they want to do. And so just by doing that makes so much money and that's really the main way that I found them to make so much money and then in terms of the mods now this is where you guys are gonna be like eh, kind of annoyed but um, you know how like for example oil or your farmlands they need the ground resources so I do have that button down here so if I want to I can add more oil to an area or more ore or more farmland um, so if it does dry out instead of having to relocate everything I can just put it down where I want so that's one side of the cheating as well but also before I cover another thing it's also good to have them close to the roads and highways just so they can get around quickly um, if they have a really long um, route to go on it's going to take longer for them to make money so warehouses close to the industries and close to all of your unique factories it really helps make a lot of money so just to show you guys I'm really not making too much money in anything else besides the industry so if you look at this one here in terms of the residential zones we're only making 5,000 cells which is only, it's 1.49% of my total income. Um, commercial zones are even less, 0.91%, just 3,000 cells. Industry, I really don't have much industry in my city yet. It's something that I really need to expand on. 407 cells for that one. Um, we are making a bit of profit with the campus. So that's another one. If you have all the different types of campuses and really expand them um, just from one campus, the trade school, I'm making 20K. Uh, but in terms of the um, transport, not making any money. Um, tourism, not really worth it. And same for the toll roads as well. Like I have a huge toll road and they're really not making that much money. So all of the money is coming from, now are you ready for this? There we go. It's coming from this one. Industry area and fishing industry, 89%. It goes up to about uh, 95%. Um, so it goes up to about 95% of my total income comes from my industry and most of it comes from the warehouses. So you can see just from the warehouses, over 200,000 cells of profit. That is where the majority of the money is coming from. So I'm making profit in all of them. The next profitable, most profitable is the oil. Um, farming is not making profit but it will it's just reset the cycle obviously but yeah those are the main ways that i make money now what do i do to make it happen faster now this is where we start to mod it a little bit just because you know we're already making profit but i want to make money even faster so i use the customize it mod and when you have that mod it brings up this little option here now you can go like this and change the production rate but what if you want the production rate to be even faster and bigger so you click on this and you come in here and you look at your output rate so currently I've set it at 3,000 we can we can go up to like 5,000 now watch the production value it should jump up in a second if I press play there we go so it goes up to $82,000 so we're making even more products in the same amount of time and of course you're going to need more warehouses with that but that's just a sneaky thing that i've been doing it's just increasing the production rate so again over here currently at 2000 we can go up to 3000 and boom ninety thousand dollars worth of product value so that's really what i've been doing to make a lot of money um i have gone one step sneakier and i've lowered the um now this is where I'm really, really getting sneaky. Maintenance cost one cell. So originally it would have been like, what, 500, $600 uh, cells, even a thousand cells, something like that. But I've just set it at $1, just so it makes it really more profitable. You can see upkeep, upkeep per week is 0.36 cells. So that is pretty much what I do. Um, like I said, before I started modding all of this, I was still making profit and you guys saw that, but um, I just wanted to see how much profit I could make. I wanted to see how much further I could push it. And 
there we go. So just to recap, like I said, having all of your different industries and make sure you have all of the unique buildings, warehouses, really good um, road connections as well for them to get around. Um, so those, those are things that you can do in the vanilla game, but if you want to take it one step further, you can use the customize it mod and you can change everything. So you can even increase the storage capacity in your warehouses, but you have to make sure that you can handle more trucks coming in. So that's when it comes back to having good road networks and making sure they can get around quickly from point A to B because the quicker they can get there, the quicker they can get back and load it up and go off again, make more money. Simple as that. So that's pretty much it. Um, currently it's gone down to 207. Now, now it's gone up to 274 and it just keeps bouncing up and down like that. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a cool little thing to do. You can really customize any type of building if you want. That's just through the customizer mod. Um, you can easily find it on the Steam Workshop. You can even customize, like for example, train stations. So you can take down the maintenance cost down to one. Um, you can change all of the different settings. So noise, sewage, water consumption, how many workers there are as well. So you could really kind of change it to how you want but that's that's what I do um, just so you guys know I'm not saying it's the right thing to do I know it's kind of cheating but hey I like making money and I like to see how how much further I could push it because it's it's just interesting you know so that's it and um, let me know do you guys do anything similar to that or uh, have you ever thought about doing that and hopefully that answered you guys who were asking and wondering how I make all this extra money there we go little bit little bit of cheating little bit of vanilla little bit of industry little bit of warehouse and that's pretty much it